Hi there, Elias. This is Latrina. Um, I sent you an email and you responded asking for your custom video showing you some things that TEO Construction can do to improve your online presence. So here's the video that I've made for you all. As I mentioned in the email, there's no selling in this video. I believe strongly that givers gain. So we make a few of these custom videos every week and send them out to small businesses who are interested. Um, hopefully you will find it to be helpful. Please let me know at the end if you found any of this helpful or not, just so that we can continue to improve our videos. Let's get started here. So I'm gonna cover content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements for you to have. We'll take a look at your company's online presence and I'll make some recommendations for improvement that could help to boost your business. So content is anything on your website. It's the words, the images, and the videos. You wanna have at least 1,500 words on your homepage and at least 500 on your back pages. And you might be thinking, that's a lot. Why do I need that much? Well. Google needs that much. So Google, when they send their, their Google bots onto the websites to crawl, they will come onto your website and they'll look at first, how much content do you have? If you don't have a lot of content, then they won't spend much time on your website um, figuring out what it is you do, grabbing your keywords, and as a result, you will not be presented um, when people are searching for your services, right? So the more content you have, the more appealing your website is to Google. Citations are listings you get in directories like Google, Yelp, Yellow Pages, etc. And you want to get as many of these throughout the internet as you can and even more than your competition. So these um, are listings that include your business name, your address, and your phone number. There's an example on the screen for you, but you want to make sure you get those to help you to rank on Google. And then backlinks are the placement of your website address onto other websites. So if you think about Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, any of those where you have your website listed, those are um, backlinks that are directing traffic away from those sites back to your website, hence the name. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes. So you wanna make sure you get as many of these as you can, right? Because you wanna be um, consider it trustworthy to Google and Google considers a business to be trustworthy when they have a lot of backlinks. Um, but you want to make sure your backlinks are related to your work. You are a roofing company and you're in construction. So your website backlinks should include like home improvement, um, roofing, construction, not like auto body repair or restaurants. Okay. Just make sure they're relevant to your line of work. So we're going to hop over into Google Room momentarily um, just to, to do a walkthrough. So do you see I did an organic keyword search. This is how people search in Google most times. They're searching for whatever it is they're looking for, right? So the service or product and then the location. So in this instance, I did Roofing Contractors Frederick, Maryland. I know this is one of your service areas. And what we are presented with are ads, right? These are the ads that companies have placed. Ads are okay. Um, I just try to add, um, show people things they can do naturally to their website to boost business as well, because sometimes people have ad blockers on their computers. And in those instances, um, they're not going to see those advertisements. So as you scroll further, you'll come into what I consider the prime real estate area. This is called the map pack. And this is where Google ranks their top companies who they believe to be the top ranking companies in this case for roofing contractors frederick maryland okay and then as we scroll further down google continues to rank businesses in order of um, preference and it has to do with content backlinks and citations those give you the big the biggest opportunity to have your business listed on these first few pages. And ideally, you should have your business listed on the first few pages. As you move further away from those pages, your visibility really diminishes it, diminishes, I can't talk, diminishes, and people really don't go that far away from these first early pages. So you really wanna make sure pages one through three, if you have an opportunity to try to get your business listed there, okay? And then of course, if you do some things over time, you could have a chance of having your business listed here um, in the map pack. So let's take a look at your website. First of all, I like your website a lot. It's very informative. I can tell exactly what it is you do. Um, it's very well organized. The images are clear and you do something that most people don't do and I encourage them all the time to put a contact 
form right here at the top of the page people can see immediately because you know people sometimes are in a hurry but they want you to reach out to them because they are interested in your services if you're only relying on them to call you you might miss out so this is awesome that you have this contact form here on your page again your images are very clean and, and organized I would recommend however you add more content if you remember 1500 words on the home page and 500 at least on the back pages and I'm going to show you in a moment why it's going to be especially important for you to add content because you are missing out on a lot of keywords so when I do a search right now of your website this is data from Google right now on a scale of 1 to 100 your popularity is a 0.8 you only have 58 keywords. At one time you had 12,000 keywords and now you're only down to 58. This is hurting you significantly as far as popularity and ranking with Google. Um, and then your referring domains are really low as well. You only have one keyword that you're ranking for and that's roofing, roof contractors in Maryland. It's an okay um, ranking, but look, you're even in that rank, you're number 73. So here we go. Let me tell you some things that you need to do. First of all, build up your content on your home page. Why? Because you need a lot of content to grab keywords that are actually ranking. So if we look at your co competition, one of them here in Frederick, PJ's Roofing, you'll see compared to you, your line is down here. And I, you had some blips right here early spring um, where you had more um, visitors, visitors traffic on your website you had like 49 and then 61 but now you are zero 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 then in august you had some um some activity and then you're back down to zero but meanwhile you see pjs they've been hundreds and hundreds of um this, this i can't talk i'm so sorry they've had hundreds of traffic on their website every single day and that's because they're ranking for a lot of keywords versus your one keyword. Let me show you. So organic keywords for PJs. And they're not just Maryland. They are very specific. Roofing, Frederick, Maryland, 400 people search that every single month. They're number two. Um, roofing, Frederick, 350 people search that every month. They're number three. Roofers, Frederick. 350 people search that, they're number three. As you can see, Roofers, Frederick, Maryland, 400. There's a ton of volume that you are missing out on. Um, and you serve a lot of areas. So even in your case, because you serve, where did I see that? Areas we serve. Because you serve so many areas, that equals even more opportunities to grab keywords, right? Um, because you do Silver Spring, you do Gaithersburg. Of course, this is your pre preferred location, but you do Baltimore, Silver Spring, Gaithersburg. These are opportunities to add more keywords, okay? So my takeaway for you, definitely more content because in order to grab all those keywords and have a place to put them, you're going to need more space, more content on your website. So definitely build out your content, figure out where it is you want to focus your attention um, and where you want to get your clients from. And that's the keywords you're going to focus on. But definitely in the area of roofing in general, you are shortchanging yourself. OK, right now you have a beautiful website, but it's like a billboard on a deserted island. You need to get more eyes on your website. Um, so that's my takeaway for you. Content, backlinks, and citations, okay? Um, let me know if you have questions for me. I'll be happy to clarify anything I've covered here in this video for you. Um, I do want everyone that I reach out to to gain and find these videos informative. So let me know what you thought um, of the video in general. And if you have questions, let me know those too, because I don't want this to be a confusing video or, or discouraging. I want it to empower you to do what you can to um, build out your website and grab more clients, more sales. Okay. With that, I'm going to end this video. I wish you much continued success and have a great day and weekend. Bye-bye.